Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Let's have some fun. Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in! We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Make sense? Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know. Knock? I mean, we have no idea what's behind this. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, snap. Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Dorothy's a girl's name, you know. And uh, if I was any less secure in my manhood, I might take it as an insult. What's your name? Rachel. <laughs> What's yours? Just so... We're not strangers. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um... Is there anything you need? Is your mother at home, currently? I don't need a babysitter. I can cook dinner all by myself. Is there... Uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Snow, can you just do something here? I... I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> Do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I wonder because she's a I've witch. I've been here all night. If that's Nobody's her. Nobody's been here. Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. That your mom? Uh-huh. Hmm. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going... It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um... Like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. I just saw nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing. I thought I saw a shadow. See. I could have swore I just saw a shadow in there, unless that was hers. Do you like broccoli? Not really. I love it. That's gotta be the that's a closet door, okay. The butcher. The butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that after.
aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not going to break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! you got to believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's going to be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't want to... I don't want to get in trouble. What? Not sprightly enough? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. I'm good enough for you? Even worked on you? Didn't know you had a soft spot for children. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Please, Green. Just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? You were nicer than I thought you would be when I was her. But if I help you, I can promise that help will not go unpunished. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Crane Whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. But Big B! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. 
It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. I think I did the right thing. Although I did lose a little bit of respect with Snow. There's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of our place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Don't call her bitch. Fucking fuck, man! Can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I. Oh my God. Beat me. Wait, don't. Do anything, I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all, please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No, this will work. I assure you, it, it must. I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please, tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God. What happened to you? Were you always like this? Not always. It started as most things do. Very, very small. Nothing more than a thought. But I didn't kill that woman. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. What do you mean? You don't think he did it? At all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown. Of using our money for his own... ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? 
Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. Now, I know, and I'm sorry, but if the killer's still out there, I want to know who it is. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. Why didn't they question her when she said my lips are sealed? That means she knows something. Bad feeling about this. Stupid girls and their preposterous schemes. What are you saying? Uh huh. There's the Tweedles. Hi. What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, 
You know, that thing the Mundies call me. What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This was really the wrong day to try and pull this shit. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Whoa! I moved out of the way. Bigby? Come on, Bigby. Yes. Oh, yes! It's fucking time. You sons of bitches. <laughs> Come on. Go, go. Get the freak up. Come on. Oh, the shit's on now. Look at this. You might need to reload. shit like this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> Can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Come on, I did it.
Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Get out of here. It's your lucky day, kid. Crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach in? Just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick up a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Oh, we're gonna be in touch, all right. Now that is how you were supposed to end an episode. Wow. That was amazing. I wonder what uh, difference there could have been on that one. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys seen different ways that that could have ended. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? All right. Oh, I'm excited for the next one. We got to wait another six months. So let's check out our uh, choices. Did you interrupt Snow's eulogy? You and 83% players decided not to. See, that was a smart choice. So 44% actually agreed with me and chose to do that first. So 97% offered him a job. Players did not burn the tree. Wow. 53% of players showed him some mercy. Hopefully, us showing him some mercy is going to make him kind of on our side a little bit. And just maybe even one, th one little thing that he would do for us to change the outcome. Join the discussions now. All right. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you enjoyed the Wolf Among Us don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the story itself. And again, thank you so much for watching, guys. And we will see you on the next one. Peace out, bitches.